Hi Capricorn, welcome to your new moon romance soulmate love reading with Bella Katrina and the angels. Got the romance angels here for you. I've got the angel card pack from Dorian Virtue, the first one I ever had. And we're going to do a quick snapshot tuning into Capricorn because Capricorn, you're not going to believe it. I had your video up first and then I couldn't find it. And then something happened. It was an eclipse and I just had to wait till now so I'm just going to go the path of least resistance and not cry about the awesome reading that I can't find anywhere whether I never press play I don't know but then I found a five minute end to it I thought oh there's an end to it so I must have stuffed up and then done it again but here we are this is for you so take a big deep breath Capricorn tuning into your energetic field now and going down to find that beautiful crystal heart of yours. Because we've got to link it with love. We've got to link your thoughts, right? Because you've got to rule the world with love. This is a vibration. We need your mental clarity and love. Sorry, I'm going to do it again because we're talking about rule the world. We're talking about love here, romance, love and, you know, let love rule the world through Capricorn. Wouldn't that be something special? Hey, did you see that? Wants to come out? <gasps> oh, gosh, that's good. I'm going to stop there. That's enough of that. Capricorn, we're going to do a seven-card layout for you and just have a look what's coming up for you from this new moon eclipse. I don't know about you, but I felt a portal from Friday to Sunday. There was definitely a time loop portal that I went through. And it was only after it I found out about a time loop. It's like, you know how things are revealed afterwards? And then you go, oh, did that happen? It's like, um, was I in 5D or 3D? It's like, you know, having alcohol and you can't remember what you did the night before. It's a bit like that for Bella. So maybe I never even recorded it, but it was such an awesome reading, Capricorn. I was so excited. So my apologies to you. And then my something's gone wrong with my converter on my video as well. So the uploading has taken longer. But here you are. You're just in better sleep anyway, so you don't you don't even know. You don't even know I'm late recovery retreat coming up so this is getting a bit sick and a bit teary a bit overwhelmed a bit f you everybody i've had enough because this is when your immune system goes down right but this is all systems shut down this is you've been going high you've been flying high you've been flying high capricorn it's a heavy world to change isn't it darlings this is an all system shutdown, right? Mental, physical, emotional and spiritual shutdown, breakdown, nervous breakdown, got to declare the breakdown, declaring a breakdown, declaring a breakdown, declaring a breakdown for Capricorn, going to bed now, bring soup, love, hugs. Do you know what I mean? No stress. This is the universe telling you, not telling you, doing it because you've been ignoring it. So this is your high priestess in your intuition. You've been all out massive action. It's been all out massive action. You've got to pull yourself together sort of thing. That's what they're showing me. Too many energies going in two different directions. So if you miss your intuition, then you're really upset because you like, you like to be on track. You like to be on the rail. They're showing me it's like a train off its tracks. Well, who wouldn't, hey? So this is inner guidance, intuition and learning to follow it. So maybe you went through something and it happened, it's really good, right? This is good fortune, um, money's come through, bonuses come through, money's on its way. It's already in your bank account, it's not on its way, but you haven't, you know, maybe you don't know yet or there's some good energy coming through to help you feel more independent, especially if you're looking at money for children like spousal payments right open to the universe giving you from another avenue it's none of your business where it comes from or who gives it to you or how it comes to you your is your problem is to be open to receiving it so there's a windfall of opportunities and finances coming your way so it might be an opportunity to increase your finances. So we're gonna see this purposeful action here. So there's about three steps to do, but you don't know, cause you're a bit chesty, bit coffee. That's the beginning of this, bit coffee. Coughing a bit, you know, tinge. Gotta keep warm around the chest and throat area, scarves, right? Skivvies underneath, wool. It's cold now. 
So this change of temperature is going to knock you around. Plus, you know, you worry about other people's shite. Even if it's your business, when you leave, you just drop it that day you know you've got to have a, a sign off and also Capricorn you know you are the ones that can be as well as Virgo workaholics nah so where they're looking at contamination of area you cannot have anything related to work business anything in your bedroom that relates to that get it out or if you're having a day off or on the weekend you need to confiscate it all it's like even in the car put all files away put a blanket over supplies so that you cannot see them you need to take this one day off and you cannot work the sabbath so you can't you got to rest Otherwise, the universe is forcing you to rest, which is okay. But wouldn't it be better to just rest, be able to read a book and, you know, chill out instead of being sick and resting? Your choice. But they're going to force this intuition onto you, right? So if you're not taking time and spending time, time out, they're going to make you because you've got some messages coming in of love. There's love here. Gosh, Capricorn, it's like you're having, you've got three, see this? This is like three energies going on at once. So this is three things happening. So it's really good here, success at work, good. I got that promotion, um, got that court case through. There was a payout, something good came my way. Excellent, feeling good. Romance is starting to blossom. You're starting to talk more, chit chat, date, open up. I'm what I'm looking for, getting your needs met, doing your soulmate Reiki with Bella so you know what they friggin' are. <laughs> Otherwise you get this, don't you? Because you didn't know that that was a need and now it's a need and now I'm already in love and here so I might as well just put up with it. So you know when you're not getting a need met, you're not a very nice person to be around energetically, whether you fake it or not. So this has come through to clear that out. So if you are having a heartbreak at the moment, Capricorn, we just want to send you a wave of love into your heart. We're going to send you a wave of Reiki energy. So you just say, I'm receiving now and receive it. We're going to clear your energetic field and asking Archangel Michael to cut cords of fear. So a big deep breath and just repeating out loud after me, Archangel Michael, come to me now. I'll give you permission and ask to cut all cords of fear that are draining my health and vitality now. Please put my heart back together because I am ready to love again. I'm ready to recover and retreat and love again. So this is where you get sick, your heartache comes up. This is a cry out, like this is a howl. This card to me here is howling. As soon as you howl it out, write it down, burn it, get it out. There's hurt, betrayal, anger, and then it flourishes something like quick, right? So it's like cry all night the next day, meet the love of your life. Or the person that you're thinking about um, presents themselves to you. Very good. It's good. But you do need to heal, otherwise you're going to get sick. And this is where if you're not listening to your heart every day, you do get sick. People get heart problems, you know. That's because they don't listen to their heart. So you could ask your heart right now. What could I do right now to make you happy? Angels, romance angels, we're calling you in. We're looking at Capricorn for love. They said love, sex and romance. It's going to say money. Love, sex and money. That's your mantra Capricorn that I just heard I'm going to do this angel layout just to see what's going on we're looking at love and romance so once you howl that out right there's a definite retreat relax sit back it's like the four of swords is epic I won't even take a client when you're that sick so if you're not there yet get in and get a healing get your shabam because it will change your energy field this is I predominantly work with health issues. I don't talk about them here, but that's my forte. Because I'm a healer. I've got supernatural healing powers. And Archangel Michael is with you here. 
Isn't that cool? So I could see him around you so you're not alone. He helps with courage and confidence. And he's asking you to ask him. Okay, so we're just going to do it. Archangel Michael, I'll give you permission and ask. To post guardian angels at each door and window of my home, my vehicle and workplace. Please stay there day and night to protect me. Thank you, thank you. And then you can relax. You need to relax. You need to hand over responsibilities because you're going to be out for the count here for at least a week if you don't. Sick. But if you do rest and recover and retreat, then playfulness will come in, right? Because this this time you, you can decide. You can either meditate, do my seven-minute chakra meditation every day for three weeks, twice a day, do uh, other meditations, do whatever you want. Just sit in silence, guide in nature, give yourself an hour a week, an hour a week of this. So you could do it three 20 minute steps if you're not good at it, where you just have nothing and you just, just sit and let your mind unwind because you need that because this, this, we're missing out on Capricorn's joy and fun because you're quite funny actually. Do you know what I mean? Because you can think about two or three things at once. So you're thinking about how can I play a trick on that person while I can get the budget in for this and the deadline for the media contract. <laughs> so people don't think you're going to crack a funny. That's why it's funny. It's funny. Coming from a Capricorn, you're like, oh, I think he's cracking a funny. Because the face is so serious. Maybe dry humor, they call it. But your answered prayer will come. You actually take some time out yourself because you want play time. You want this. So tell the universe, cut the cords. Your fairy godmother's here. Thank them for bringing in the love of your life. And shine really bright. Recover, retreat. So that you can know that you are supported in wonderful, magical ways. See, this is like your spiritual team. You don't just have a guardian angel. We have lots of people around us. If you want to connect into your spiritual team, look at ReikiByBella.com. Click Psychic Readings, Full Shabam, and you can see a calendar you can book. And then you would get details of how to pay. And there's a free upgrade there for you. Free upgrade from Power Shabam. From full shabam to power shabam. I call it a shabam because I do mediumship, I do reiki, I do angels, I connect with your loved ones who've passed over as the mediumship, I do tarot, we do life purpose, we do romance, and it's even intergalactic beings of light that have come in. If you're from Arcturus, Pleiades, Lyrian, I can find out your ancestor, like your ancestral image, lineage, sorry, and the showing me Akashic records so that's like a, you know if you want to go back and clear something from a past life it may be a fear that's coming for you now I love you Capricorn keep ruling the world look after yourself you know make some time for yourself book a magic healing package or you shabam with me or take some meditations with you and just regularly tune out so that you can tune in to your fairy godmother and receive your guidance from your guardian angel because your intuition is going to change the entire world i love you i'm going to do a romance one i was going to say goodbye sorry we are going to do a romance card though so i thought gosh it's not that long <gasps> got one more card here from the angels ah oh, divine timing so this is an affirmation for Capricorn. Everything's working out in the perfect time, space and sequence for me. I might go and have a rest, blow my nose and take some anti-cold. <laughs> just know that, that you're all right, your health's all right. You're just going to take some time out because of this juggling, you know, and you worry, you're worried. You're worried because of the time frames. This is showing me like having, you know, 12 points. Once I had 12 points gone on my license, but the change over time from when it changed over was three months for them to put the paperwork through and then I'd got another four, six points back. But it was so stressful until I found out because I had to have my car for work. So it's like that stressful. So that's why they're saying just wait. So you're not sexy when you're like this, you know? sexier like this so 
We are going to ask the Romance Angels what's coming up for Capricorn. This is a new moon to new moon reading. So I do moon cycle readings and really it's eclipse to eclipse. So this is epic energy that we're in. And, you know, it's squeezing all the last yuck yuck out of us to actually bring love. Because let's face it, there's not a lot of love here. Not a lot of love here. We have to bring it. I cry about the, how low the vibration of love is here. Ooh, ooh. They wanted me to see this one for you. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So this is just came in for male Capricorns watching. You know, you don't go, you don't have to say, can I kiss you? You just kiss her. Kiss her. Just kiss her. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. One, two, three. Yep. Here's romance for you. Anyway, if you can stop sniffling long enough to have a kiss. You really got to get your energy up because there's really nice energy here for, from the romance angels because you decided that you're just not going to give your whole life to work and your whole life force to the company and then what's in it for me? You need to have this more balance so you just, you've decided this is in the past and here it is. Here's new energy, this wave coming through of unconditional love, right and stepping it up if you're single this is you deciding right that's it i'm going to love myself and make myself happy study myself i'm going to do soulmate right here with bella i'm going to find out exactly what it is that i do need what i won't put up with what i'm looking for what personality traits i'm into what time i would like to spend with them what i would like to share the energy in that time frame it's all full on it's a good workshop soulmate reiki highly recommend soulmate reiki <laughs> romantic feelings are coming in because your heart's starting to actually open again it's been a hard road they're saying a hard road right so here is reconciliation capricorn this is down the middle right it's really really good so if you can recover and retreat and get better and know that you're hot then you can actually go forward and get the kiss and you get the commitment, right? Because it's a reconciliation here. This is, um, this, so that says someone from your past is returning to your life. But even if you are together with somebody, they're saying it's the past love will come back. You know, it's like, this is like falling in love with life itself and then falling in love again. Or falling in love with yourself then you can fall in love you know it's like this beautiful love energy and the energy around you is finance is career so you're changing that you know it's like this is not a priority anymore love is your health is and if you can't put yourself first how can you help put somebody else first that's why the relationship will break down but you know you have to have money i'm not saying you don't but if you just chill out a bit right not worry so much about paying rubbing Peter to pay Paul and know that in this reconciliation that comes in divine timing it's of an energy of love for your heart and your affirmation again another one because you've got passion coming in this is renewed passion in your love life very nice right this is the movies movies are made of this stuff open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so it is safe for me to love and be loved. It is safe for me to love and be loved. It is safe for me to love and be loved. And a big deep breath. And in that energy, you just created a vibration. There is intuitive messages in that energy. That's why you sit and receive the vibration that you just chanted when you did it three times so if you did that every day you might not get anything straight away but it will be uploaded at a later date but at least you started giving time when I started doing this um, self-care and especially through my awakening process it started in December 16 2016 I started just stopping more regularly and just going <sighs> Sorry, 
can't see me, but it's like a big exhalation with sound effects because your body loves to sigh. It loves to make noise. It loves to sigh it out. So do this often through the day, you know, big deep breath and then just ah, sigh it out. It will reconnect you to the earth and it re gets you present, right? re into the moment so that you can move forward so just starting with that and then you might say okay at the end of the day I'm just going to do Bella's seven minute blah 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 and then I'm going to do then you're going to change it do one in the morning one at night then you'll be doing a 20 minute one then you'll just sit quietly and then it will increase so I've gone from just doing three big deep breaths more often to at least 20 minutes of meditation three times a day holy crap holy so it's massive because of the downloads, the integration. Do you know what I mean? And my vibrations changing, and um, it just feels so euphoric to connect to source. <laughs> Can't believe it. Anyway, book your soulmate Reiki so we can connect one on one. Thank you so much for your time and your attention, Capricorn. We need your passion to ignite. You know, you're not, it's not, you're not just here for work. You're here for love. And when you're in love, then you actually bring that energy into the workplace. That's what transforms the world. I love you. Hope to connect at ReikiByBella.com for a full shabam or soulmate Reiki soon. Or I'll see you at the next eclipse and the full moon in between thanks so much for your subscriptions as well and all your support and comments just let me know where you're from location 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 love you bye for now